So I appreciate anybody who wants to stick around for this. If you hate the game or you're not interested, feel free to jump away and return on Monday for our next stream. Um, let's see here. Let's get that kicked off. And we are in chapter 16 of seven, out of 17. So this is kind of late game. So if you haven't played and you don't want to be spoiled, then, you know, feel free to step away. Again, would love for you to join the Discord. It's been amazing conversation in there. Um, and with that, I think we're going to get into the game. Everybody ready? Let's go. Boom, that's my computer. This is the PS4. Login, uh, login off for spoilers. No worries, my dude. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everybody who has to take off or wants to take off. No worries. And thank you for hanging out very much. I appreciate it. Let me change our game type here to or uh, stream description. Stream description. Final Fantasy VII Chapt. 16. Very excited to get to the end here. Really want to see how they've done this part. Because obviously the original version was a JPEG. <laughs> right? The entire building was a few JPEGs. So I really want to see how they flesh that out here. It'll be interesting. Uh, you want to buy a Theremin? Theremin just fits horror. Oh, uh, Theremin, yes. Uh, I blanked out, blanked on that for a second. That's the, the weird air instrument where you move your hand, right? Uh, I'll make sure you get an early copy. I, I didn't read that. That's awesome, dude. I would love to. I would love to, for sure. I would love to. Oh. Immediately, that, that music hitting. Fuck yeah. So good. So good. Let's talk to our people here. We got the best people. Some of the best people. Oh, that's the building. Dude. It looks really cool. That sense of scale was definitely not there in the original JPEG. Looking pretty tight. <laughs> in the game. So they know what they're up against. Somehow, I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. Woo! That would absolutely ruin your hands, right? Anything that, that has theremin is good. Theremin is incredibly difficult to play. Because every little movement can shift the pitch and, you know, to, to stay in pitch is very difficult. You need incredible muscle memory. I have avoided spoilers like to play, but at this point I have to wait a year to play. Just stick around. I appreciate it, man. need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. I'm pretty impressed. This place looks really, really cool. There's something about the magnitude of it that really works. Again, in the original, it was everything was so small. It was hard to drive this sense of scale. One big problem for me has been that, you know, this sword that we're using looks cool. I dig it. But I really prefer... <laughs> I, I really prefer the Buster sword, which is like the cannon sword. But it's so much worse. It's so shit when you compare it. This one is 80, 89 damage. Right now, 
uh, and we can even upgrade it further. Like right now we have some upgrade points which we should get into. Really hope that Legend of the Dragoon gets the remake treatment. Yes. Uh, I, I haven't played the original, but I've, of course, seen it and know of it. Uh, it would be cool. I do appreciate the remakes. I, I do hope people don't use them as a crutch, but I do enjoy, especially if it's a game that I, you know, played in the past to see it remade with the current gen graphics and all of that. It's always, for me, very exciting. Even, even though some people kind of don't like that stuff. These last chapters were really impressive. And, oh, Shed, welcome back, man. How is your Saturday? You have to understand, guys. Seeing names of people that are returning viewers so often like this really makes my day. I really appreciate it. Thank you for continuing to come back to the stream. And, uh, dude, I have been very impressed, Shed. What have been my negatives if, if I had to say, hey, what are some things that would improve in, in the game? A couple things. I think that the side quests felt a little bit, like some of them a bit, you know, get on with it kind of deal. Not too bad, but just a little bit. And then the fact that I can't choose which sword to use b based on aesthetics, for me, sucks. Uh, because the stats are so different, you know? You really gotta choose something that works and gives you good stats. And then, so many times, you can't use summons, which that sucks as well. And I think I had like one other bigger complaint, but I can't remember right now. Uh, some low textures here and there, but nothing too bad. What about you guys? Is there anything you're, you're not super happy about? I, I still enjoy the side quests because, you know, the, the music is amazing, right? And it, it's... The world and all of that is great. But it was a bit noticeable, for sure, that some of the side quests were a bit, like... <laughs> slowing down, like breaking the momentum a little bit, is how it felt to me. You don't catch many of my streams, I assume it's due to the time difference. Oh man, yeah, it might be. It might be for sure. Because the ones we do midweek are 7 p.m. UK, I think that's like early morning for you, Nitro. And then these, I assume, are like late night. So yeah, I appreciate it though, man. I'm now playing again on hard mode. Now the slow transition sections are way more apparent. Um, these are early morning, like the right now it's early morning for you. Okay. I see, I see. So the ones we do midweek, 7 p.m. for me, is probably the midday for you is that is that right you guys are so far ahead <laughs> that's pretty crazy how are things over there by the way um nitro are, are you guys starting to that's a shinra truck open up the lockup a bit no <gasps> mm. or the lockdown I should say. <laughs> Haven't left the house. Fair enough. Shimmer building. Underground parking garage. How's it looking out there? Music is so atmospheric, man. Nah. What a job they've done. Roger. 
with taking the original tracks and for each track they have like several different variants for different moments <laughs> he's just butt locking one of them oh here we go Oh yeah. Get him. There. Hey, what's going on? Oh, show me your hand. It's on you. Here I we go. Right. <laughs> Bring it on. The idea was to not get me. Booya, booya, booya. You never planned oh, to be shit. in the first place. So remember, maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah. Good thrust. Let's keep moving. Should be a service entrance in the back. The character models are super impressive. I am very impressed, dude. I mean, look at Tifa. Right? Enough said. I think the hair looks fucking great, too. Which that's always something that looks a bit shitty in console games, I think. Remember, this is PS4 original, guys. It looks pretty damn good. Can't get in contact. Excuse me, sir. Oh! Big punch. Who's doing that stunning shit? Uh, get him! Alright. Oh, big thrust. Don't overdo it. Got him. Good shit. Oh yeah, another one in the back. I do wish this this is another thing I wish they would fix. A way to just recover HP between fights that's a bit more mechanical than me having to manually cast heals. The Spaniard on the moon, welcome back. Hello, how are you today? How much better do you think titles are going to look like in next gen? Uh, I think it will be noticeable for sure. Like uh, depth of field, uh, texture pop-ins, all of that stuff will be not there, hopefully. And then also more stable frame rates, all of that kind of stuff. But as someone who plays mostly on PC, it's not gonna be anything more than what we see on PC already, so I'm excited for more people getting access to that level of graphics, but I think it will be like in line with, you know, what we see from PCs. Not highest end PCs, but you get you get what I'm saying. Deal with that. Die. There we go. Woo! Big damage. Gotcha. Get 
Yeah, dog kebab. It's on you. Okay, you got him. Know your limits. Like right now, we gotta throw heels manually, right? It's a bit time consuming. Uh, ray tracing really changes how game looks. Uh, true. Yeah. The main thing we'll see next gen is lighting overhauls. Could be. Could be. Think the improvements in graphics will be more towards special effects rather than textures. Yada, yada, yada. Yes. Um, I would agree with that. But then also hopefully overall stability and like I said, removing texture pop-ins and all of that kind of stuff. Really glad I'm waiting a year to play this on PC. Your frame rate looks pretty bad. It didn't look bad for me, um, and I haven't missed any frames, so I'm not sure where that's coming from. I do apologize, though, if it looks poor. Uh, I think uh, we're meant to go this way. Oh, during the fight, it looked a bit bad. Hmm. I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe I was just too focused and didn't notice it. Okay. Wasn't planning on it. Let's take care of the dog first. Ah. Get the dog, get the dog. Ah. Oh my god. Yo, this dog is so incredibly powerful. There we go. All right. Now, how do we handle these guys? Let's throw an assess. I got you. Take a look. You're weak to fire. Okay. So let's do a fire. Oh, this is gonna burn. Boom. And let's do another one. Boom. Okay, okay. Get the dog. Get the dog. Okay, ah. there we go. Finish the dog, my dude. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Good damage. Keep it together. I'm up All right. Woo. Those dogs are super annoying, dude. Lansby, welcome back. It's worth the wait. Eh, I don't know. For me, I would just rather play it now. It, it, to be honest, it, it plays pretty well for me. I haven't noticed much of the frame drops. Uh, sure, I would love, you know, 60, but pretty happy with it we'll do another one Lansby how have you been man yeah Bloodborne was a disaster when it comes to FPS I, I played it recently and it, it's very noticeable uh, 
Uh, well, I also have uh, a 1080 Ti Nitro, so I'm also used to playing games there at that level. But again, for this game, I've felt it pretty stable. Like for me, the biggest problem is fluctuation and I haven't seen a ton. I know you mentioned you're seeing it on the stream, but um, on my side, it's looking pretty good. I'll have to watch the replay and see if there's something wrong with the, uh, with the stream itself, because I haven't dropped frames, but for me, like I would rather play it now. I'm happy with where it's at. Nobody's home. I will probably replay it though when it comes out on PC. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. Good sync. Yeah, I would love 60 FPS. Like I say, I'm used to high 90s at 1440p. But it works pretty well. Emperor, welcome back. How are you today? I'm digging the vibe. Oh, dude, the vehicles. Ooh. That looks cool. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Oh, you're having some coffee? Cheers, up. man. Let's just keep heading up. Cheers. So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? Dude, this looks really cool. The way they've done the stairs. I'm very happy with this. Oh. Yes. That's so dope. I love it. So, you have the choice of going through the stairs or the elevator. How's your afternoon going? It's going very well, Emperor. We had an awesome conversation with... Uh, with our guest and now we're, we're doing some of this man super excited to to see how they do this section and impressed so far let's see can we open this what about you what do you have planned for today authorized key card needed okay so what do you guys think stairs or elevator I actually want to leave this one to you guys. Up to you guys. Can we do 1-1 one, one in chat for stairs? 2-2 two, two for elevators. Give me your thoughts. Can you ride any of the vehicles? Not right now, but maybe later. Maybe later. Both are fun. You've done both. I want to do both as well. I'll do another playthrough on my own time so that's why I don't mind doing you know either right now nitro wants stairs the Spaniard on the moon also wants stairs okay so we got two for stairs I think the stairs stairs sounds fun Colorado space also into it all right all right all right let's do it this is the I, I thought that was the stairs. <laughs> okay. Must be through here then. Oh! You need a keycard. No getting upstairs without a keycard, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Ugh! <sighs> 
The reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Oh. Go up and over, maybe? Hell yeah. Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. Let's do it. I don't know. <laughs> I think I can I'll do give it. it a shot. As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. I don't know if you're the lightest, Tifa. You got some big Tifas. I think each of those are, you know, okay, significant. Guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? Guys, stop staring at Tifa's butt, okay? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm policing you, all right? Stop. Stop looting. As if tits are weightless. <laughs> Come on, give me a jump. Oh, good jump. All right. Give me another one. This reminds me of windsurfing. The way she moves is kind of how I would move across the the surfing board. Very cool, by the way. If you get a chance to try windsurfing. Very cool. Can we... Oh, no. We're going this way. Yeah. No. Nope. Luckily, they had the big... I thought I was dead for sure. Soft landing sofas. What kind of... Ooh, we got vehicles now. What is going on? What kind of... What kind of sofa is this? Or like... Bench? This is like... These are like beds. Couch beds. It looks like we can't can't use any of the vehicles. That's a bummer. This one looks fucking weird. Looks like a sperm whale. But looks like we can get to the elevators maybe or the stairs. Dude, this looks really cool. Oh, the little trains. Ah, nice. Anyways, sorry, I'm geeking out looking at the actual location. How? Where are we supposed to go? Look at the map. Look at the map. Let's try those elevators. Oh, dude. Yeah. Vehicles look so cool. What about you, elevator? No. Oh! Chest. Sofa for hobbits. Yeah, but they're so big, though. It's like a full bed. Don't apologize for appreciating the details. All work that goes into the game. We put that detail in for people to appreciate. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. It's I, For me, it's so cool to look at this. It's fucking awesome. Okay, I see a ladder here. Is that what we're looking for? Is that what's going on? Like, m maybe climbing on top of these? Doesn't it look that way to you guys? Clearly the ladder there is indicative. Also, boom, there's a chest up there. So how do we get up? Let's see. Examine. I think my guess is that we're missing a ladder somewhere that we're not seeing. We got platforms up there. Let's look up a little bit. There's a lot we haven't seen because we weren't looking up. It's 
gotta be some kind of way to get up there. You can hop on one of the cars. Thank you, Shed. Let me try that. Oh! Yes! Thanks, Shed. Oh, yeah, let's go this way first. Get that chest. Hell yes. My Dune, welcome back with the seven months. Thank you for the continued support, man. That tier one. How are you? I'm doing great, dude. I had an awesome conversation with RT in the talk segment from before. And having such a good time with this game, man. I really appreciate you jumping in. What are you up to today? You playing anything? The Discord has been uncontainable, has been popping. I hope you guys have been also enjoying it. Some very, very candid conversation. I like it, you know. I always appreciate people being able to be honest about stuff and not have to like censor themselves. And I, th I think we've created a pretty cool space of light-hearted conversation where, where people can jump in and be themselves without being judged. We got all kinds, <laughs> all kinds of people in there are accepted. Oh, this seems like, uh, like we can't get through there. Hold on. So we can't cross over here. Oh, we can go down. Okay, we can go down here. Okay. Here we go. Doing great. Building a new office. It's going to be awesome, especially when I get my new computer. You, you mean like an office at home? Like a room that's going to be your office? That's awesome, dude. What uh, computer are you getting? What are, you know, the specs? Make sure to post it in the Discord when you get it, dude. I love seeing people's computers and setups. This isn't so bad. Pretty close now. Let's try to make it over there. this way. You haven't been playing games a lot lately? That's okay, man. Have you been busy with work or... Been house shopping and I told my wife a dedicated VR space is a must. That's awesome, dude. You guys are getting your own place, like purchasing a, a house? Very cool. Buying my house, the place I live in now, is the best decision and investment I've ever made. I hope it works out, dude. Purchasing for the second time. Just need to get across those platforms. Very cool. So we can do the secret homeowner handshake already. Bearded Cyanide, what's up? Welcome back. I have an office, but making it li live? You mean? Or making it nice? Okay. Also building an electric desk so I can stand working. Very cool, dude. Standing desks are awesome. Uh, oh, it was nice. Yeah, yep. You bought a house middle of last year. So are you moving because you're, you know, you wanted like a bigger place or something different? Montifa. You got this. Oh, good jump. 
Holy shit. Had it for three months, paid cash, and it spent it spent all my savings, didn't get it insured. My dude. Holy shit. I'm very sorry about that, dude. That sucks. Oh man, I'm very sorry. Yeah, that's rough. Here we go. Come on. Oh, there we go. Give me that hip action, Tifa. Mm. Put your hips into it. Let's go. Yeah, mortgage is a good thing, man. I, I'm, That's some fine work. I'm very happy with mine. I might be able to disable security from here. Last year was rough, but I'm all over it. Yeah, that's rough, dude, but I'm, I'm very, very proud of you. Uh, damn, girl. For achieving all that and moving, moving forward. But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor, looks like. Huh. I guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. So, my Dune is getting a 3950X with a 2080 Ti. What a beast! So, absolutely top shelf. Very cool, man. What kind of... Um, what kind of case, what kind of cooling are you going to do for it? Like an AIO type so solution? Andy, welcome back. Glad, you, glad you're, you're back, man. Good to see you. Bricks and border can be replaced. Family can't. Yeah, exactly. How have you been, Andy? How are things? Alienware. Okay, cool. So, uh, a, a pre-assembled system. Is this the right way, guys? So, remember, we decided to go up the stairs. Which I think it should be this way. Should be. You have got to be shitting me. Nope. We're a lot less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. Just indoors, gaming away. Good stuff, dude. What are you playing these days? It's only 59 floors. Nothing what have you it. been up to? Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. Anything over here? No, okay. Well, let's get started. We got a lot to climb. You're doing AC Odyssey. Hope you're getting that Alienware on a nice sale or something. Yeah, those can be pricey. That's true. Wonder That's true. Like up there. More security and restrictions. They're typically well built though, which at easy. least you're getting that. G crit. Thank you for the follow. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. 3D printer finally shipped over waiting for a month. Very cool, dude. What kind of stuff are you looking to print? Do you have a few ideas? You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass! I was planning on buying a uh, pre-build this month, but I got talked into buying it, uh, building it myself, so taking my time. Dude, I love building PCs, yeah. At this point, I've built, I think, four or five systems. And it's super cool to do. Super cool. I uh, would love for you to post in our Discord, uh, Spaniard on the Moon. Share with us your setup if you want. 
we have a few people doing custom builds there. But yeah, I love I love building my own machine. I like the feeling of knowing it inside out very well, you know? So that if something goes wrong, I have the peace of mind that I know how to fix it, you know? Shit are all the way at the very top. Yep, the very top. Controller attachments for your VR stuff, a wall mount for storing my VR treadmill, a bunch of stuff. All the character models from your game, very cool. Very cool, man. Thanks for the assist. But yeah, definitely ask us if you have questions about what parts to get or compatibility, that kind of stuff. More than happy to, to help you look into that. Very exciting to build your own machine, man. Hope it turns out well. Floor 25. I forget how many floors. I think it was like 70 floors. <laughs> For some. Sorry, I have a I have a scratchy nose. Because Basil was here and his fur is everywhere now. That is a lot of stairs. 29. Hey. Definitely gonna ask a lot of questions. Yeah, feel free, man. Uh, definitely happy to help. It's a bit overwhelming sometimes. Think I've got, like, Love that they designed the stairs. Yeah, for sure. I know zero about 3D printers, says Andy. Yeah, it's a whole rabbit hole, right? It's a whole other rabbit hole. To me, it's crazy that we have that technology. But I'm feeling okay now. <sighs> Not only like at the lab or something, but you know, in your home, you could 3D print stuff. And you can get some really big printers too, to print like bigger items. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, I will be doing 3D printed basil objects in the future as rewards, as like loyalty rewards for the people who, uh, you know, who have been here over a year and stuff, right? We got a bunch of people already with over a year uh, either following or subscription. It's really, really cool. So that's gonna happen in the future still figuring the different bits out but we already have the 3d design do you have to use CAD system or something yeah I have no idea I think you need like a, it could be a blender 3d object as well the one you got says it also prints wood and carbon fiber Oh wow! It does wood as well. Well duh. It's pretty dope, dude. Basil parts, <laughs> no, like the basil head. You guys know the basil logo, like from what what you see in the left hand side here. That's a 3D object that we can 3D print. So it could be like a keychain or a bobblehead, something like that. So that that's something I'm I'm working on for the future. Forty six. Yeah, the the basil logo exactly. That's why we did that three D version, which I, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, give me a suicidal last day, at least. That Dude, why can I not run? <laughs> wow. We've lost the ability to run. Have to slowly walk up. <laughs> so, okay. Yep. Per your yep. recommendation, right anyway. 
I've started watching Tiger King. A bunch of you have told me I have to watch that. And it's quite good. It's quite good. It's very well produced. It's amazing how much footage they have of everything. And uh, they've, they've done a great job of producing it, you know? They're like, they have all this footage, all this B-roll, and they're piecing it all together in a very compelling way. And it's kind of a crazy story, too. So it's, it's been nice, been fun. Has anybody watched it uh, that's here today? Your character is getting tired out? Oh, that's what's going on? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that makes a lot of sense, to be honest. It's kind of cool that they did it. We're already at 54. No wonder he's carrying that massive sword, too. Uh, I honestly thought you finished this game. So, Andy, no, we're taking our time with it. We've done a bunch of side quests. I'm looking at Tifa's ass a lot of the time, so that slows things down, too. And, um, which I'm straight up about that, right? Uh... And then secondarily, I'm just enjoying my time with it, you know? And we're only playing on stream, so... I was knackered at level 3. <laughs> 57, guys. Suvi, I have returned from mission getting rid of leg-based... Basement... Tab. So leg-based... Basement... Tan. So what does a basement tan involve? And how is it only on your legs? <laughs> Tell me more about this. About your methods. Dude, we're so high up, Andy. Do you have altitude sickness? 59? Whew! Basement 10, a.k.a. no 10. Okay. I got you. I got you. No 10 gang. He's Luke, me, Hawk, and Homer after party. Yes. Yeah. Always wear trousers so my legs are pale. Oh, okay, that's the joke. I see. The real challenge starts now. Okay. Let's go. Tifa can carry extra air in their breasts. The fact that they give you this option just makes me so happy. It's very cool, man. Yeah. 80, 90, oh. 100 percent, 110. Mako super saturation confirmed. <laughs> More Tifas. Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. How you doing? Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. <gasps> it's Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. I love how he's she's using the dude as a leg rest. Nice Tifas though. I appreciate it. She's, she's too much of a dominatrix for me, but I, I can appreciate, you know, that for now, other people. Show me something truly exquisite. Uh, or maybe because she's in control during daytime, she likes to lose control. We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering That's where it's at. Within the, reserve tank. the reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Man. You can see the pores on her skin. Dude, the character models are really well done. This is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Getting major Bayonetta vibes with the high heels and big cleavage. That's not an unfair comparison, to be honest. Oh, hello. Please, just let my wife and daughter be safe. Oh, they got 
His wife and daughter? Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Whoa. I'm slowly walking there, guys. Damn fools. Hmm? Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <laughs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. <laughs> Looks so pretty. Dude, I think the hair is really well done in this. We talked about it a bit earlier, but it looks really good. What game are you excited for most this month? Definitely Man Eater. Yeah. I love RPGs and the fact that it's a shark RPG blows my mind. But dude, to your point earlier, Nitro, you were like... Pretty... You know, you were saying it's pretty rare for a dev to create a segment where you're just going upstairs for like two minutes we all know ubisoft wouldn't allow that they would have some kind of enemy spawn there <laughs> i really respect that choice by the way giving you a bit of time like that i really dig that stuff Digging the vibe in the building, guys. Pretty well done. Barrett never fails either to give me the chills or make me laugh. For our grand tour. Visitors have access to floor 60. You just like a big bear, Suvi. As well as floor 60. You're just into bears. That's okay. That order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession. Thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> if it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. Yeah, digging the vibe, dude, with the music and stuff. Very cool. You think Maneater is a little shallow? One bam, finished in a couple hours. I, I don't think it's like that at all, Andy. From what I've seen, it's an actual RPG. Uh, but we'll see, right? Let's see when it comes out. I think Karak is reviewing it. Bury me, bur bury me, Merit. I see what I see what you're trying to say there. I'm reading between the lines. <laughs> Barry Whiting, yeah, yeah. Can't hook into the super hype. That's fine, dude. Let's wait until it comes out, right? And uh, Man, well, we we'll see some of the reviews. Cards just to get anywhere. This is Shinra HQ. I can respect yeah, that. How did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? How long do you think it'll be before we put a new plate on? I kind of like how people talk about stuff, but not directly to you necessarily. They're just like hanging out and having a conversation. Like these two. Do you think he's trying to get it on with her? There's a lot of distance between them, which tells me... Also, her body language is like very distant. So this tells me like she's not really into it. He would love, right? He's like, I would love for this to happen. And she's like, not really into it. What? What's your read on it, guys? Suvi. You get the whip. Defensive arm and, uh, and legs crossed, exactly. Remember when Man Eater was originally shown? Me and Carrick had the same reaction. It's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun, I think. I'm hoping. We'll see. 
we'll see. I gotta say though, man eater sounds a little bit like. Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. Okay. So V, I think you're starting to like the whip to too much. You, sir. No, it's fine. I brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director... I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. Mortal Kombat, yeah. The expansion looks pretty cool. Is the main story, like the base story in the game, worth playing through, Nitro? Even if you're not a big fighter fan? Yes. I might get into it, dude. Um, since you also offered to kind of play together, that would be a lot of fun. The ending was really cool. I see. Oh! All right, he's got a, a a little ego problem, doesn't he? Welcome to the Shinra Building, our humble home. I'm surprised he didn't just do like a giant penis on the statue. Here, Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. Just a big old cock thrusting through this. Whatever takes your fancy, the pants. Sure to learn something new. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. He's got a... He's got some image of himself, alright? Look at that. President fucking Shinra. That looks so cool, though. The detail in the backdrop and stuff. This, act, this is like an epic building. <laughs> the president. Yes. Oh, what do we got? He got his <laughs> cigars? I think I just threw up a little. Who has a massive glass enclosure for their cigars? <laughs> this man has got a problem. This is awesome. What is this? Who the fuck's that dude? Ooh. Okay. Now you're just being silly. Oh, these are the tools used to build... Like, the, the trains and stuff. Look at that. And some of the original crew. Some designs of the... Reactors? That's President Shinra. And is that Hojo? Maybe. Um, so Nitro says, if you don't already own Mortal Kombat 11, you can get the base game and all DLC expansion for $60 now. That's not a bad deal. We can co-op towers together. You can do co-op for the campaign in Mortal Kombat 11. I thought it was just... Uh, uh, individual fights. That's cool, though. I, I'm honestly, like, getting a bit excited to do it now. I, I want to see your reaction when you first see Hojo. I'm excited, dude. I, I really like Hojo's character. Excited to see that. And also Red. It'd be dope. Uh, to unlock cosmetic items for the characters. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Wasn't it fun to learn about Shinra and our esteemed president? Ooh, young Hojo. That was super cool. Oh, cleavage woman. Hello. 
that is a woman attached to a cleavage. You haven't seen Sephiroth yet? No, not yet. Sephiroth! We've seen them in visions and stuff. Now, moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do here. By giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed, because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. Okay. These all look so familiar. Because we've destroyed a bunch of them already. Dude, I'm loving this part of the game where it's not as much about the combat, but it's like exploring this building. And it's I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Danny DeVito? Oh man. You missed the woman? Don't worry, you'll see her again, Suvi. The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, I remember killing a bunch of these fucking things. And these things, too. Oh, the helicopter. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. Loving the detail on the... On the, uh... Enclosures. So much stuff. Uh, welcome to Shinra headquarters. My duties as Director of Research and Development are, in all likelihood, far beyond your ability to comprehend. <laughs> what a dick. So there will be no presentation, as it would be a waste of my time and yours. But rest assured, we are making great strides. Albeit not at this particular moment, because I'm filming this rubbish instead. Ah. Classic Hojo. I've wasted enough of my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one. After all, so good day. Hojo is like that, yeah. Very dry, very cool. Makes sense for his character. The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Ah, oh, all the different suits. Hell yeah. I hate those guys. Ah, so annoying to fight against. Sector eight, dude, that looks incredible. Whoa, that is not how it looks, by the way. <laughs> That's like, I guess, a project for the future. Fish sticks and custard. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy. Enjoy the fish dicks, Suvi. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure, the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. Yeah, the laugh is really good. The the voice actor is fa is a famous person as well. I forgot exactly who they are, but impressive, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning about our divisions. And the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. Where is Wedge? He's my spirit animal. We left him behind. He actually, I think he was alive. But when the disc dropped, Wedge. Jesse, they were all caught. So, as far as I know, Jesse hasn't been found, but I think Wedge was, if I remember correctly. Now, moving along. 
along. The next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors. As well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on! I'm digging the tour thing, dude. Obviously, this wasn't there at all in the original. This Very is Midgar, cool. Our home. Recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. John DiMaggio, yeah, yeah, thank you. Testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. This is so cool, dude. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind, blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Dude, this is so cool. This miniature. Demoing the reactors. Fuck yes. This is amazing. And that's their sales pitch that the Mako energy is endless. And of course it's not, right? It's a planet resource that they're just sapping. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar! Now, moving along. Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please Whee! proceed to the 61st floor, the visual entertainment hall. Let's go. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. What if I was in a wheelchair? This is not a very accessible building, is it? I guess we could just use the elevators. <laughs> now that I think about it. Can we open this? Please stay and enjoy the show. Oh, okay. Gotta do this first. Cosmos Theater. <gasps> Is it a planetary? My dudes. This is why I'm giving you an early copy of my game when it's ready because you appreciate the detail. Ah, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I do appreciate the details. A lot of work goes into this shit. Dude, let's go. Let me get my face out of the scene. Past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir the and fuck? pulsing oh. beneath their feet. I'm losing my shit. They had. The ancients developed the means to harness this powerful energy and bend it to their will. Whoa. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture too has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her Yo. flesh we shape. Bahamut Shiva promised land shall we one day return by her loving grace and providence may we take our place in paradise alas the ancients themselves are long gone 2000 years ago a meteor brought an end to their civilization 
Dude. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we've harnessed the power of Mako. Dude, this part is out of control. It's insanely well done. Are they out there watching us? Waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world. A green inverted land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until Fuck. our dream is realized. That looks incredible. My dudes, what have we just watched? That it? That was sexy, yeah. I I came a little. <laughs> I'm buying stock, Invictus. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo. Sephiroth. No. Not the Tifa. <laughs> Tiffy Roth. The man. Sephiroth. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it's Danny oh, DeVito man, again. My refined taste running out of that butter. shot though, right? Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> oh. <sighs> kind of an no, interesting it, it mohawk. Been... Crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor, what was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Dude. That? I think that might be like the best looking cutscene I've ever seen. Maybe it's because, you know, I love the game and story and stuff. But fucking hell, I wasn't ready for that. Woo! Still reeling from that. Oh my. Bro, that chapter alone was worth the 60 bucks, my dude. Yeah, it, it's, it's incredible. Legit gonna cry, it was so gorgeous. Right? Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert! Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? <gasps> oh, Greetings and welcome, goatee. Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm? <laughs> I'll probably try hard I've mode, yeah. i to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. <laughs> you have an Mayor odd beard. Mika, the empty suit that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That, Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. Hmm. Yeah, this place looks awesome, dude. 
corporate archives. Look at this place. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? I need to make one of those in my house. <sighs> Fake book wall. And it's more books. Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? <laughs> this is so fucking good, guys. I'm loving this shit. Better be like books. What kind of crazy person reads? I know, right? Books be dangerous, man. <gasps> There's a chest over there. Hold on. Stop everything. The mayor is waiting. Okay, I understand, but there's a chest. Where do you think you're going? I'm... Uh... <laughs> Sir, there's a... There's a loot. There's a loot. Ah, oh, this is the most painful thing we've faced in the game. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta have your priorities. The loot goblin. <laughs> Hell yeah. This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am mayor. the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. Oh, he was in the picture earlier <laughs> with I must President say, Shinra. I haven't exactly been discreet. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. He walks with a cane what too. What a badass. Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. His beard is, is gorgeous. Really that surprising to yeah. you? He's a badass. You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world. Also, Tucked love his hairstyle. Room closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought gang, I'd just gang. shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian. Nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports. That's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. <laughs> They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. All right, keep it together, my dude. Okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. 
deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. <laughs> yeah, Suvi, no hair is the new long hair. Zephin, thank you for the follow. Enjoy your stay. Hope you're doing well. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Did it have to rhyme? Uh, cringe. Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. <laughs> with gusto. I you like got that. it. I did get it. I, I like it. I like this guy. <laughs> oh, a helping hand is what the quest is called. Needs more hair, though, in places. I'm sure that's covered. Suvi. So, guys, I'm going to take a very short break and get an energy drink so we can keep going. So we'll take two minutes, stretch our legs if you have to go do that as well. And we'll be back with more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Be right back.
Hey, welcome back. Sorry that took a little bit long. I had to take a leak as well. Let's get my drink. This is the one I'm currently liking the most. Sneak. This one happens to be strawberry and watermelon. Very good stuff. Uh, what are you guys having? Anybody else popping an energy drink with me? Suvi? Sounds like you're having a monster. And I appreciate everybody sticking around, despite the annoying pause. Ah, yeah, hell yeah. The pretty bunny one. Yeah, it's pretty good. No sugar. It doesn't have a lot of extra stuff. I, I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. Okay. Let's continue. Thank you, my dude. Let's get out of here. Oh, hello, Tifa. And now, guys, we can go and get the chest. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiot today, HQ should have kept us in the loop. Would love a monster got none at the moment. Ah, oh. disaster. Oh yeah, that piano track. Let's go. Hell yes. What? <laughs> That's awesome. Cheers. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? I'll be in the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As he kinda cute though. Dear, he found that was elegant. Structure. Sorry, sneeze. <laughs> and there it is. That same elegance. Oh, thank yes. you. <laughs> Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. Wash your hands. <laughs> I did wash my hands when I peed. I'm not a monster. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. Do you pee on your hands? No. 
Thank you for taking an interest, though, in my pee life. An avalanche must have used some heavy duty explosives to do that kind of damage. We're told fires raged all night. To do that kind of damage. I'm not into the whole golden shower deal. No judgment, you know. If that's your thing, that's cool. Should I ask more about peeing? You can ask anything, Suvi. I don't mind. What about this door? No. And I imagine these are also not working. Let's go back to 63 and see what we can do over here. On the subject of energy drinks, my name on Twitch and my game studio Nitro Beast comes from an energy drink can back when I drank 20-ish per two what 20 cans per day the back of the can said unleash the nitro beast oh that's where it comes from but dude 20 per day like are you okay <laughs> man Busy. The did just fall. What kind of particular to me? Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. Oh shit, dude. That sucks. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. Yeah, I'm sure we're not conspicuous at all with all our weapons and stuff, and Tifa's boobs. It'll be fine. Hello, sir. What are you doing? You're, you're thinking about getting some ice? Some mineral water clear icicle? But you can't decide which of the variants? You have the occasional tea, but mainly the, just water. I see. Where are you, Whoa. Mr. Collaborator? I think we just need to start talking to people who look the part. That Remember looks like the legendary. Way. If they say the best, then we have a tree way. from Norse mythology, Yggdrasil. A personal best versus five Red Bulls a day. I do love the taste of Red Bull, but it has so much shit. In it, even the sugar-free one that uh, I moved to this one and I started drinking sneak when they did like a, a powder thing so you bought the powder and then you put it on the water like a, a shake kind of thing and it's just like caffeine a few vitamins you know calcium some stuff like that it, it has very little extra on top which is what I like about it and it tastes really good still. And then this is, they released recently the canned version of it, which is the same, but with uh, with bubbles, right? Uh, uh, which I'm digging, I'm digging a lot so far. By the way, I'm not in any sort of sponsorship or anything, it's just something I like. Hello there. So, what'll it be for you today? The mayor. Mayo? Sorry, we don't have any here. Yeah, that's really hardcore Nitro. Really hardcore, man. Uh, Victor said, I had a friend who drank them every day. Had his first heart attack at 30. Fuck. Someone give Cloud his mayo. <laughs> this kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's Director of Public Security. 
who has an important message to share with us. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged by this unconscionable act of terrorism. But at the same time, we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs! Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Do you think the other... Whoa, are too much information, right? Ty's gonna attack us again. We should be safe here, right? I wonder how the rescue ops are going. Yeah, that dude is permanently angry. And this is Gustavo Fring, when he was younger, working his days in Shinra. Are you military? Cool, cool. I cool, guess cool. things have been keeping you pretty busy around cool, here. Cool, cool, cool. You found the guys who did this yet? The mayor. Huh? Uh, what about the mayor? Never mind. Yeah. So we have to talk with everybody until somebody says the, the key word. No, I'm gonna be here a while longer. The mayor. Hey, shush, I'm on the phone. When you drink too much tea, you feel sick from the caffeine. Damn, dude. Please, just leave me alone. The mayor. The mayor. Better catch him soon. Hey, let me shout the mayor at you. Oh, how you doing? The mayor. Spinning. What about you guys? The what mayor. The hell's taking him so damn long? The mayor. All right, let's try upstairs. Uh, Suvi, thank you for the host. Lots of water. Good, good. Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. Does training in that thing really make you better? Ooh, VR training. Don't mind if I do. You work here? I don't recognize Enjoy you. your sleep, Suvi. You Much love. Take care. Is the best. I was told to expect you. you. Need access to upper floors, right? That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a finished national train system, system is called VR. Can provide a real challenge. Let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. Thank you for that factoid. Give me the sim then. Let's go. I shall use that factoid in the future. Rimilex, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good day. Enjoy your stay. Three person team versus mayor is best. Sure. Uh, series of battles of three person teams. We'll go Cloud as leader. No, hold on. Tifa second, Barrett third. There we go. This will be good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Okay. Let's throw an asses on this. You're weak to lightning? Don't overdo it. Yo, let me go. Alright. Get some distance. There we go. Cast some Sundar Sundaga. Sundaga. Get in there, Tifa. Oh, 
Oh, good damage. Watch yourself. My turn. Watch yourself. Get out of the way. Oh, shit. Here we go. Give me another Sandaga. Ah. Here we go. Oh. Staggered. Let's go. No, the other. Oh, we killed him. Let's go. Oh. Woo. Okay. Can we do? Let's see here. We'll throw. I'll catch up with you guys in chat in a little bit. Once the butt clinch phase is done. Okay, here we go. Give me a Sandara on the left blade. Good. Here we go. Uh, missed it. Keep going, keep going. Right, give me a focus shot on the left blade. Staggered. Get it, get it. Mm, good damage. Get in there, my dude. Thrust. Yes! Keep those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. You're gonna fight the mayor's self insert Mary Sue. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the combat in this looks solid. The only FF game I haven't beaten is 15 because the combat in there kind of sucks. Yeah, they, I didn't like the combat too much in that. I, I would agree. Combat is really good. It's the best mix of action and turn-based I've ever seen. I'm digging it a lot, dude. Sometimes it's been very tough, you know? Rank 3. Okay. It sounds like that's enough. Let's see. Let's go talk to the man. But yeah, I All love right, the way it looks. It Very I'm cool. Man of my word. Here, this key card will Loving the updated victory theme. Floor. You mean the one I played on my soundboard? Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can find Hojo? A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy on their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go yep. all the way to the conference room. The restroom. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. That's what she said, right? But also, I also remember that Rimalex. Yes. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how they do that. New content has been added to the Shinra Combat Simulator. You can win rewards only available here. Items cannot be used during battle, but HP and MP are slightly restored after each fight. Very cool. These are things I'm gonna do on my end. I'm gonna do like a, another playthrough on my own time. Cloud, I've been waiting for you. Let's see if we've unlocked anything with this guy. I'm an intern in the R&D division here. I took the liberty of hacking into the executive's private network to monitor your progress through the building. 
I will support you in any way that I can. I sense a surge in trust. We should keep this brief to avoid suspicion. Very good. Uh, a bunch of research complete. What do you have for me? Nothing new? Item master. Increase item efficacy. We'll get that. And then also ATB stagger. Small ATB boost on staggering foe. We'll get it. I don't think we'll use it. But that's cool though. How would this game look in VR? Cloud, I've come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? I don't know, man. The thing is, I I've played Hellblade Senwa Sacrifice in VR. And it looked pretty good, even though it's third person. Typically, first person is what you want for VR. But it worked quite well. So maybe this could work. Cloud? Huh? You're Cloud, right? Oh. Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn. Oh. So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked. But I told them it was all bullshit. Cheers. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunzel. I'll be right back. You okay? Yeah. But you were just... I'm good. Let's keep moving. Uh... Oh, dude, you played Hellblade right after your brother's funeral. Yeah, that game will mess you up, dude. Emotionally. Very cool game. And I think it works pretty well in VR. What about you? Did you enjoy it? It's incredible. Shed says, Johnny, when you enter the restroom, please save your game. There's a chance to trigger a bug. Gotcha. Okay. Save when we get to the restroom. Will do. Thank you for the heads up, man. I appreciate that. What the heck are those flashbacks Cloud keeps having? So, he... I don't know how much context you have if you've played the original, but... He was exposed to Mako energy, which is where he gets the strength and the weird eyes from. And that kind of messed up with his head. And he's got flashbacks from the past. And some of it is kind of the future as well. So it's all messed up. Yeah. So happy there's a sequel. Yeah, looking forward to that very much. I think VR was the best way to play it. I really enjoyed it in VR. I didn't play the whole thing again in VR, but it uh, it looked really amazing. This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. I thought the war was over. Do you think the other fleets are in danger? Is it true that Wu Tai is gonna attack us again? We should be safe. Oh, I just realized it's on the upper floor. Is it? Hold on. Yeah, I think we're meant to uh, go up, right? Also, there's a shop. Oh, nice! We got a new a new tune. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, rest up. Let's do that. What kind of things trigger those flashbacks? So it comes and goes. He's kind of losing it a little bit with this yeah so you will see and the cool thing is in the original game you don't really see the flashbacks much aside from a couple times and here you see all of them so it, it really adds a lot it works well we have to find our way back out of here which i'm having some issues with Cafeteria, where did we enter? Hold on. This is terrible. What do we do? Cafeteria. 
kind of looks like it's supposed to be here, doesn't it? Ty's gonna attack us again. We should be safe here, right? I wonder how the rescue ops are going. I am now confused. <laughs> I remember entering this room and seeing the tree. But I don't remember where we entered from. Hold on. Let's look at the map again. Okay, let's go up the stairs. See from there. You had the same issue, Shed? Okay. I, I don't feel as dumb. At least. Like, there's no way out in here. There's a shop, though. We could see if they're selling anything interesting. Welcome. What would you like? What would you like? Uh, I think I'd like some Phoenix Downs, to be honest with you. It looks like you got a Big Bertha. Look at that. Big Bertha. Firearm to boast some rival destructive force. Let's get it for Barrett. Mithril Saber. Immense sword made from magic infused ore. Uh, Cog. Bangle. Magic inspired. Pretty good. Uh, Supreme Bracer. Ooh. For elite troops. I think we're gonna get some of those. We'll get one of this, and then maybe a rune bracer. Uh, sorry, a rune armlet for magic defense. What about that? We got one of those. Uh, nope. Just one. And call it good. This gun is awesome for healing Barrett. Is it? Let me check it out. Let me check it out. We picked up a bunch of stuff. So Barrett, right now I'm using like a magic build with him with Light Machine. It sounds like Big Bertha actually doesn't have bad magic damage. Let's take a look at what we got. Before we reslot, let's go to upgrade and see what we can do with Big Bertha here. I like the upgrade system, by the way. What do you guys think about it? They took the Materia system, which was already very rich, and added a ton on top of it. Let's take a look at this. So we have a bunch of attack power up, magic attack power up, HP, Materia slots. Woo! I think this node is really hot. I think we want to grab everything from here. I'm going to go like this. Definitely grab at least one materia slot. I think we're going to need that. We do have a bunch of points, so we, you know, we could kind of go crazy. Let's get a connected materia slot. Uh, let me break. Not super interested in that. I'll get the HP. I'm being a bit picky with what we take. I like magic. I'm happy with taking magic. And then let's look at you. Uh, the stuff with like high HP or low HP, I'm not a fan of. Self healing, 50% boost. Recover MP when receiving significant damage. Now that seems useful. And then from here, I think we'll grab a bunch of HP alongside the attack power. We can't get anything else. I think this is a very good weapon right now for us. And it also looks really cool. Yeah. This is the first time I'm seeing the upgrade system. Johnny, which VR system do you have? I have a Lenovo Explorer. It's kind of a bit older now. Oops, sorry, I misclicked. It's a, an older system now, but it works very well. And, you know, for the price, it's a good... Yeah, it's a WMR device. What about you? What are you rocking these days? I haven't played in a while now. I have to say. Big Birth. We slot. There we go. And we even have, like, connected slots. If we wanted to do something cool with that. I think we're good for now. We'll leave it as it is. I'm happy with that. And then instead of 
the uh, magician's bracelet that he's got why don't we do the rune armlet i'm thinking i'm thinking the rune armlet it's pretty good And then it's, I'm thinking instead of the vest. Fury ring? Auto life reduces damage taken when equipped. Healing? I kind of like that. We're, we are going to be doing healing with him. So. so let's see. We got wind, fire. Sorry. Fire, lightning, wind. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm not even gonna play a sound effect for that. It w that wasn't good. I apologize. That's what you started on. Now you got a, a rift, CV one, and now I'm. Oh, so then you got a, the the rift, and now you're on the Vive with the wireless adapter. I haven't tried the wireless adapter. That sounds pretty dope, though, to be able to move around. Purple pain. Whoa. Now that is pretty hot. Let's see how this looks upgraded. Ah. What do we got? A lot of HP. Holy balls. Very high damage. Wow. Not really doing magic that much, but if we could get a bunch of HP, that would be dope. Speed is pretty good, to be honest. We'll get the speed. Okay. Uh, crit. 10% boost. Ah, fuck it, dude. Let's get it. I like crits. Weapon ability, critical hit. Uh... I don't think I'm gonna get that just yet. I'm gonna get the extra materia. The power. Magic power. We don't use magic that much. We, we can grab it later. What do we got over here? You find that it's... Uh, you lose track of where you are. In the play space and some games are dangerous. I, sadly, I have to play seated, so I, I, I haven't exper experimented the, uh, you know, what it what it's like to play, like, standing up. Adds fixed chance that Tifa may enter battle with an increased key level. Okay, okay. I can dig it. I don't like the low HP stuff. We're not gonna grab that. And then I think max HP is very good. So this is a really nice, well-balanced glove for Tifa. Critical hit rate. Let's grab that. I think that'll be good. That'll be good. Can wait for when VR becomes more mainstream and more games are developed for it. I would agree, yeah. Still a bit niche. Let's, uh, ah, I misclicked. <clears throat> Let's go back and equip this glove. It, you can see like the damage. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? The damage in this is insane. But what we also see is that this glove is very tanky. So look at this. With this, we have 3,400 HP. And if we go to purple paint, we have 4,000 and 280. Plus, we, we have way better magic damage, which, to be honest, we don't use a whole lot, but... I am a little torn. I do like being tankier. I think we'll roll it for a bit and see how it's like. We do have the ability to add more materia, which is nice. I don't know what we would add but poisona asuna that could be cool and maybe some um subversion breach could be useful and then instead of the pathetic iron bangle let's roll a 
Supreme Bracer. Also comes with a bunch of materia. So ETB boost. Uh, cannot be used continuously. Press to activate. We actually haven't been using that, but we should. ETB boost. We'll pop that in there. What? Uh, I saw some time materia. Time. Use haste. I want to use that. I want to use that. And what else do we have? HP up is very useful, of course. Deadly dodge. Increase the potency and effects. I think we'll do. We'll go deadly dodge and call it good. And then cloud has a 10% strength increase, which is good. Heavy duty bracer is not super good. I'm thinking maybe the the cog bangle is okay it's like a good balanced option we'll go to that and probably call it good i think we're we're good now let's do a save a little bit of time invested there but it's kind of fun as well you do a lot of beat saver and recently starting uh, try mall mode. What is mall mode? I haven't tried it. Yeah, it, <clears throat> sorry, it does kind of suck a little bit, but you know, we all got our issues, right? And stuff we can't do. I'm not super bummed out about it anymore. Kind of, you know, moved on. I'd use it anyway just to unlock the special ability. You're talking about Tifa's glove? Okay. OD, what's up, man? Hey, welcome back. Mall mode is a double-sided lightsaber. Oh, that mall. I see. Dude, where is the door? Where's the door in this thing? Where is the door? I'm counting on you to change Shinra. Yes, I will, but once I figure out where the elevator is. Nice building you're in. Is that a giant fish tank? It's like a giant tree tank. Yeah, the building is very cool, man. Uh, if you remember correctly, it's in the lower floor. Okay. Oh, hold on. Do we have to climb somewhere? I see a lot of platforms. I see a lot of platforms up there that I wasn't seeing before. Let's see here. Does it go around? Is that what's going on? Do we want to climb on top of this? Maybe. Anywhere in this are still safe? Doesn't feel like it. You just missed it? Ass dude with huge ass sword, are you military, right? Hold on, I just missed it. Can we jump over here? Ah! It has to be something like that. Or climb over here, maybe. Sorry about those chairs, man. <laughs> Anywhere in Midgar is still safe? I'm sure it's something like this. Climb on this. There is a door downstairs. Where? Uh, I must be blind. I <laughs> cannot see the door. I know we came in somewhere. Nice outside the box thinking, but it's not that. Talk. Has to talk to manager. I know, right? I'm on the phone. Hope you get him soon. I remember this feeling. Where though? It was like this before the last one started. 
I think we're all feeling it. Is it true that Wu Tai is gonna attack us again? I wonder how the rest of Okay, okay. Holy shit. Oh man. We found it, boys. Yes, hello, Basil. Mm hmm. Come up and say hi to everybody. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We'll give you a treat if you come up. How about that? There he is. You do respond to treats, huh? There it is. It's on the table, buddy. Go get it. Good boy. Good boy. And you may stay with us if you want. Yeah. Yeah, Rimulex. Meet Basil, the cat. He's a medium cat. Good boy, Basil. How's your day going, buddy? Yeah? You ate some stuff? Boop. Boop. Oh, yeah. Get some chin action in there. Let's go. Basil ASMR for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Basil, you can stay there if you want. That's okay. He's so cute, right? He's cute and he knows it. I trust the narrative is intact. Rock solid. The people have embraced the Wu-Tai avalanche conspiracy wholeheartedly. I've almost come to believe it myself. Wu-Tai's response? So far, nothing. And if those cowards do react, all the better for us and our story. Very well. Then we shall stay the course. I will do, man. Take care. If I may... Enjoy sir. your day. There was one other matter. Oh? A message from our man Palmer. Damn it. Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Barrett. That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. Okay. Time for a save, real quick. Did you know that the voice for Heidegger also did VA for Bender and Jake the dog? Really? I didn't know that. But now that you mention it, I can see it. I do love Bender. I've been thinking about re-watching Futurama, just because it's awesome. Love that show. We should be able to go up to the 64 now. Yeah. Do you think that's where Professor Hojo is? Where he should be. Hello, lady. Can I help you? I guess not. I guess you can't. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. All right. Love the look of this place, dude. Lighting is pretty good. Did you see Sector 7? I can't bring myself to look. I went to the Skyview Hall. It's worse than I imagined. Hey, bro. So, they're discussing a reconstruction? Mm -hmm. You guys private security or something? 
Let's see here. What about this guy? I don't recognize you. What department did you say you were from? I didn't. You fuck. All right. All right. I'll wait out here. Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. Why would she say that? That's kind of interesting. Oh, because it's the... <laughs> it's the male restroom. Okay, so this is what uh, you guys mentioned. Let me do a save. Just in case something goes wrong here. I didn't realize this was actually the the restroom. Okay. Is it am I right that restroom is an American expression? I'm pretty sure here in the UK people just say bathroom. But I think in the US it's kind of weird to say bathroom unless there's an actual bath. Did I get that right? Oh, thank God. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on. Let's just find that duct. I did save Shed, yeah. Hey, welcome back, man. Cheers. I just saved, hoping that um, nothing, nothing bad happens. There we go. Gotcha. I remember this part from the original. In the U.S., we say restroom, bathroom, and the lavatory. So you do say all of those in different occasions. Gotcha. Are you from the US then, Rimulex? Whereabouts are you from? Look, I'm on guard duty. Also, right. Rimulex, so we have a very active Discord. Don't if you want to be become a part of that, have to. Yeah, there's sure. a link in the Just panels. Follow behind. From the city of brotherly love and cheesesteak capital. Which one is that? I do love cheese. I'm actually not sure what cheesesteak is like. I've heard it before. Is it like literally some cheese on top of a steak in the grill? Because that sounds amazing. I'm in London and I, I lived in like Spain and Brazil. So I, I haven't really been exposed to... Some of the American foods. I wish to... What? I wish to continue. I, I... I wish to go to the left. I w you see, the thing is, I want to progress into the vent, my dude. Uh, kinda, it's so good, it's not healthy though. I'll have to Google it, dude. That's That sounds really interesting. Uh, I, I cannot progress at the moment. Is that... Is that the bug? That Shed was talking about? A bit more forward, I think? I, I mean, I'm... I'm... This is me pressing forward. Let's try that again. The bug is when you peek through the vents. Okay. That was so we're, we're pressing forward. We would like to now con continue into the vent and then Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure this is the way. I think we wanted to Can we turn around? Ah. Why would they make this like this? <laughs> that is painful. Okay, take it back, right? Okay. Now we want to go to the left. Yes, there we go. Okay. 
Woo. We're past it. I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. As a graduated game dev student, I can say that some devs are either evil or clever. The line between the two is blurry sometimes. Yeah, for the most part, it's really awesome, dude. But there, there are some places Having where. The board's decision, we may start two projects simultaneously, rebuilding the plate and the city. Members of the urban planning division will likely take point on both. Direct Jay, welcome back. How are you today? To come up with three, five, and ten-year plans. Each team needs to come up with a detailed proposal and schedule. We're going to have to put a lot of man hours into this, so we'll need to start ASAP. Does anyone have any questions at all? <sighs> MXJ, we had an awesome guest today, uh, Artie Quinzel, another streamer, and we had a great chat. And now we're doing some Final Fantasy VII laid back action. How are you today? Doing pretty good myself, having a nice energy drink. And uh, Basil is chilling with me. Let me show you. Little Basil. Sorry that the camera is kind of blown out with the settings, the other one. But um, here's Basil. Hello, buddy. Hello. Aw. Very cute. Don't bite me, right? You can't do that. It's illegal. Oh. <laughs> Artie is such a sweetheart, she is. Yeah, she's fantastic. Uh, she's also got a, a great sense of humor, which I really appreciate. Very good for, for some banter. We'll have her on the channel again for sure. We already did like a golf with friends, which was a lot of fun. That's a great game to do. It's the perfect game to like to do some banter while you're doing something because you don't need to focus too much on the game but it's still fun there's a bit of competition because it's a golf competition i'm telling you i saw him with my own eyes sauntering down the corridor we don't have time for this nonsense he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea. Enough already. If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you. I remember Palmer, this guy, from the original game. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7. He was like a tiny dude. The figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction plan for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> Neo Midgar. It did look pretty cool in the simulation. In their promised land, we will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the promised land even... <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the promised land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. 
personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is I'm at sure your disposal, that's true. should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the Ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> Interesting. Hmm. So for all of the Cloud Aerith If there is nothing fans, else... Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Please, sir! Something stinks. <laughs> uh, Hojo's awesome, dude. What an asshole. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. Alright. So we did dodge the bug in the end. Very cool. The story at this point is a bit foggy for me, like the ending from the original game. There's so much that happens in the end of the game that I have to, like, remind myself. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... To arrange a face to face. <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, uh, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I have a few holes towards the latter part of the game. But this part I still remember. I'm digging how they've done this. Oh, look at that. A little rest station. Hell yeah. This is like a, a, a really good chapter. Chapter 16. I'm really impressed with it. There's a bunch of content here. Let's buy all of these that are available at like low price. Because I'm a cheap fucker. I think we got enough of everything at this point to call it good unless you have some amazing accessory let's see here the ones that are like 5,000 maybe we already have that one I think it's kind of the best we can get all right we'll call it good let's drop a save drop a save and uh, that will be the end of our gaming segment for the day. <laughs>